If you move your pawn or rook, the video ends. Playing 3 minute splits on a 100 rated account. Aha! I can see that this guy is just trying to say, I want to see you arguing with money. And of course, I can never do that. And even though the challenge only requires pawns, I will explain why I added rooks later in the video. Let's find an opponent. We get a 312 from Brazil. Well, I don't really have many moves to begin with anyway. Knight f3. Today. The plan is simple. All I have to do, is just to move my horses. Until they die. Or I can pray to God so that he will make my opponent take one of my pawns, and then I can have a gap to develop my other pieces. And to be honest, both plans don't really sound great to me. d5. Knight c3. Knight c6. Alright, now what the f do I do? Fine. Knight back to b1. e5. Very aggressive. But anyway. Knight c3 again. Bishop g4. Oh 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 oh. Knight back to g1. I can't afford to lose my horses, because then I'll have to move my pawns. d4. Very aggressive. Now things are getting real bad for my video. I mean if I go knight e4, f5, knight g3, and even though my knight is safe on g3, there is actually no safe square for it to move to, which means I only have one piece to move the entire game. Knight b4 is even worse, because after a6, knight a3 dies immediately to the bishop. So I guess, knight back to b1. f6. Okay. Now what do I do? Knight a3? Bishop takes a3. Knight c3? D takes c3. Knight f3? Bishop takes f3. Knight h3? Bishop takes h3. Move my pawn? The comments section laugh at me. Alright. I guess I'll have to go with the safest move. Knight a3. There is a chance that this bishop is too far away for him to see. Oh my god that worked. Knight back to b1. Queen d7. I mean who cares what he does anyway. Knight back to a3. If he didn't see it last time, he wouldn't see it this time. Yes. Let's go back baby. King b8. This guy is obviously a grandmaster. Knight a3 again. Third time's a charm. Well, I guess it's his charm then. Now as you can see, if I didn't add rooks into the challenge, I can just go rook b1, rook a1, rook b1, rook a1, and the video is going to be too long and boring. Anyway, back to the video. Now which way do I go? I think that, since he takes to the edge of the board, I'll go this way. Why is he thinking for so long? Or maybe just please take my B pawn, and then we can continue the game. I think he went AFK. This will be our easiest victory ever. Okay then.